Here's how you install the Hydra Spiral. You will need a Hydra Spiral tube, 3 quarter inch size gravel, drip irrigation, and a digging tool, like a shovel, a post hole digger, or a garden auger drill bit, and power drill. We recommend gravel that's 3 quarters of an inch in size. Do not put gravel in the tube, just in the pot cap. Hydra spirals work with all kinds of emitters, but we suggest using a fixed dripper at half to one gallon per hour flow. One to two days ahead of digging, water the area well so that the soil is moist. It will be much harder to dig a hole when dry because the soil will keep falling back into the hole. A minimum of two to four mesh tubes per tree is recommended. The number can vary depending on if trees are lined up or in an orchard setting where they can share hydrospiral tubes. Place the tube into the hole with the cap end towards the top. You may want to have the hydrospiral extend above ground by a couple of inches so you can monitor it. Build up a small mound around the tube so water runs downward. To place the emitter within the pot cap, remove the gravel pot cap and you'll see a pre-made hole. Drill a hole in the side of the mesh wall. Line up the holes and insert the irrigation line. Fill the cap with gravel to prevent debris from entering the pot. Keep the emitter visible on top. Another option is to use an emitter stake to hold the tube in place. This allows you to monitor irrigation from afar. If you're installing many hydrospirals, consider using an auger. We recommend the Power Planter Auger, 3 inch diameter by 24 inch length. Using a dirt auger for some of your projects would speed it up and require less physical effort. We recommend using a half inch power drill because there's more power and may have a reduced chance of injury. The larger bit supplies more torque to the drill and blades. Beware of any underground utilities or irrigation lines ahead of time. Make sure you have stable footing and your core is engaged. Use a slow drill speed when digging so you can stop if you hit a rock or a piece of wood. Before starting, Clear the digging area of grass, rocks, and debris. If possible, make sure the soil is moist. Apply gentle pressure to the trigger and the blades and bit will bore into the ground, creating a nice, evenly shaped hole for you. Grass and other overgrowth could also hamper an auger's digging ability by clogging the auger blade and screw bit. Some motions move more dirt with less effort than others. Stop spinning the auger once it's holding dirt. This way it will not fall back in. Dump the soil to the side before continuing to drill. If you find a large rock or root in your way, you may have to select a new spot for digging the hole. 
Always know the limitations of your equipment. Stubbornly attempting to force an auger through tough soil can waste energy and risk injury to your hand or wrist. Irrigation time varies based on multiple factors. The type of soil you have, the amount of organic matter, temperature, season, and ground water levels. This information will help determine how long your drip should go for. We recommend checking with your local garden center or hardware store for guidance or tips. The key is a longer, slower drip time. Find out how much water your tree or plants need, then work backwards for how long it should drip at the speed of your dripper. We recommend for between four to five hours, depending on the above factors. Place hydrospiral around the tree along the drip line, which is between the tree trunk and the furthest leaf growth. If placing more than two, place the tubes equidistant from each other. It's a whole system. For best results, feed Vermistera microbe tea to condition the soil. The increased aeration helps the beneficial microbes change the surrounding soil structure to have better access to nutrients, better water retention, and aeration. <laughs>